work there we go i forgot i recorded on this profile before now you guys can hear me good to see you guys <laughs> april fools now you can hear me <laughs> uh good to see you guys thanks for joining me today for the farm sim show uh i hope things are going well for you guys i forgot i recorded on this profile last time and i made some changes to the audio so that was the problem there good to see you guys thanks for joining me uh we're gonna look at all the brand new mods and i know it is a uh, april fool's day but but we've got some awesome new mods today we've got some awesome new mods uh the new john deere combines are out a harvester combines and they are fantastic yes they are so good they are so good and the headers will go with them as well as well there's a tow bar as well which is pretty cool so we're gonna take a look at all this fan stuff just downloaded it right now eli says oh man let's take a quick look guys let's jump into this we'll go take a quick look at all the stuff we've got shall we boom all right so new mods eight new mods six updates six updates uh two of the mods i think no three mods are for pc only i believe yeah so three of the new mods are console three of the new mods are uh, pc so playstation 4 and xbox guys i'm sorry you only get three of the new mods but that is what it is so we're gonna have to shut uh, off the start here we've got the s700 the s600 and then we got the con the, the corn headers as well uh the dangerville b132b that uh, trailer if i can move my head around a little bit there i don't know, right here that was just updated so it's now available for our console as well um as well we got uh, updates for both the tgs 4150 as well as the tgs 26500 it runner packs those are pretty minor updates in the grand scheme of things there's nothing to really look at there the tow bar and tow bar holder this is actually pretty cool this mod it's interesting we'll, we'll pass around that in a second we got a cane low loader this is from like fs15 this one here guys down the bottom we got the uh not a frc slurry tank kind of an update kind of not we'll talk about that a bit and the train stop mod not really sure of this i haven't messed with this one stop the train on save game loads to mess with that i don't know i don't have it loaded up on this one but it, it we'll see i have no idea what we would do no train stops i i guess okay uh, updates for wool storage pallet pack storage this is actually nice too it gets the option for well for me especially like making videos on this stuff uh you can get rid of uh adds lamps seasons masks improved uh what was the one thing i was really like oh trigger markers are made to fade out so you can actually make the trigger markers so they're not sitting there so it doesn't look that unnatural taping around it that's kind of cool so this update for both the pallet storage pack and the wool storage pack they both get rid of the markers so if you don't want them there they're not going to show up which is nice uh tip side hud's got a minor update it's just to comply with uh the mod hub basically they've gotten gotten rid of some of the uh some of the way the the, uh, the program runs let's see here what it says right at the bottom boom uh remove tab space in description to comply with mod hub requirements that's all it is and then last of all we got the new season geo for ningham farms and there you go that is all the new mods and the new updates now i think we want to go look at some new john deers uh the train takes off when loaded when you start your game okay that's what i thought ah i see i see farm and race knows exactly what's going on so it prevents it gets logs to go flying and such perfect well that sounds fun <laughs> all right let's bounce on in let's go take a look at uh well some of the new stuff we're not gonna look at the new train mod we'll look at the rest of the stuff instead boom all right so you guys saw that from the opening screen the s700 s600 there's so many variants uh jahg uh, modding did all these these mods oh well the, the combines at least did he do the headers too i think he did the headers as well right let me double check did you both of them yeah yeah jhhg did both the 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 corn headers as well as the combines i've used his stuff a lot on from pc land um yeah these are three different versions of the th two different mods basically so the s790 we've got the 680 over here and then the littlest one we have the 680 here without the duels or anything along those lines so the nice thing okay this is the smallest version right here per se now i've gone with this one i've changed things up but just a touch and not added in a large bin so this is the extension so you can kind of see how it folds out this is the only one that needs to be folded out the rest of them don't need to be folded out it's just an option we'll take a look at it in the store in a sec but you can see how nicely that folds out that's great isn't it that looks really nice excellent um as well there's some chopper options on the back of uh these ones over here so this is the base the base chopper on the back here this is the optionable one and look how good that looks i love having these as options on these ones the upgraded chopper let's see if i can does it change much when i activate it yeah there you go how it drops down i like that that looks so good boom boom yeah it looks great so of course you're gonna have options for a couple different types of tracks you've got your dual wheels you've got uh, wide tires you can separate different hitch configurations 
all sorts of bin options on these. There's a ton of bin options up on top uh, for both of them, as well as, uh, yeah, as, we'll talk about the headers in a second, but as far as the combines go, there is an absolute ton of options available. I don't think there's another combine in the mod hub that gives you quite as many options. So let's take a quick look. Uh, for the most part, the options available for both these combines is pretty much the same thing. You're just gonna get a different size. Let's scroll all the way down to the end. So you got your 680, 690, and 780, 790, 180, 98,000, 216,000 respectively, of course. And you can see there the headers, the 612, all the way up to 716 Cs. The headers are the same as well, 19 miles an hour to 24 miles an hour respectively. Now the big thing, the really big thing with this, guys, take a look at the capacities. So the small one, still 17,629 liters. That's actually still really quite big is what you're gonna max out on. But the big boy, 22,905 liters. That is ridiculous. Like just to put that in perspective, like that big Colossus we have, 18,000 liters. Guys, that's massive, 22,905. That is absolutely ridiculous. Um, love it. All right, so this here is the big boy, the 780, 790 series. So right at the bat, you've got your factory foldable. That's the foldable extensions we had. That's your base, basically. But you know what? There is actually one smaller, I thought. There's factory static. That's right. So that's technically the smallest. It's funny that you still get stuck spending. There's not a zero in there? No, there's not. Okay, so you do have to spend... It's funny that they add another twelve or eighteen hundred dollars even for the factory static. That is kind of funny. Anyways, that's I just find that humorous. So you do have a ton of options, like I said. So full static, you've got tarps, uh, you've got the mid, uh, the tip up, the big top, uh, the full manure tip up. Uh, let's see, the big top, <laughs> the harvest master, the tip up harvest master is the biggest one right here. That is the big boy right there. That's as big as she gets. If we go one more farther uh foldable there we go yeah so that one is the biggest one the funny thing is it's not the most expensive it's only six grand if you go to that foldable option that we had that is the most expensive one but that'll i guess you'll save uh you'll, you'll save the space for uh into certain certain garages and certain sheds so if you want to have that anyways there's a ton of options for that so depending on exactly what your farm needs i guess you could change it up uh your wheels you got michelin's Midas. that's it wheel setups let's stay with the michelin's i think that has the most options We'll scroll through these quickly. You got a few different options of wider wheels. You got your second row crops there. Uh, Rear-wheel drives can swap to forward or reverse. Let's see if we can get over to our tracks. Like, look at all those. We'll go back to our Midas. Where's our tracks? Where are the tracks? Oh, there they are. Okay. You have to have it on Midas. I thought it was Michelin's for some reason that had the tracks. You can see we have quite a few in here. But then we have, look at the different tracks we have. So you have the two different types. You can, they get gets colored a little bit differently depending on which ones you go with, the RWA 30s or the 36s. But then you also have them in yellow. And then you also have the S700 tracks. And I believe they're just in yellow, they're not in black. Yeah, it's all in yellow only. You do have a couple different options there. I love to look at those. Those look so good. Um, so anyways, you got tracks, you got duels, you got wides, you got skinnies, you got rear uh, changeable wheels on it. So many options. It's kind of ridiculous, to be honest, how many options we have on this. Uh, the chopper tailboard, like I said as well, the standard, or you can go with the advanced power cast. Rear hitches. This is something actually that I really do like, that I really do like on this. Um, not many harvesters do this, but you got an option for your rear hitch. So not a rear hitch. Uh, you got your standard rear hitch, which is way, I don't know if you guys can even really see that, but it's way in there. You've got the extension. I think there's one more. Uh, yeah, there's one more. So you got an extension, and I don't know what the Lakota Sarth is. What does that do? I can't even really see it. Oh, that's right. It's a foldable hitch. So this one here is actually a foldable hitch that folds away when you're not using it. So it's not in the way. Uh, that's right. So you do have those two options. That's nice. Cool. And then, of course, your engine setup. Your base is 547 horsepower. Your larger one, the 790 series, is 625 horsepower. Rear axle, you can strength widen that bad boy out. And then lastly, we got our pipe. We got our pipe and she goes quite a long ways out. 22 and a half feet is base, but you can go to 26 feet uh, with a foldable option. Now they both have two different options on how it folds. There's one's foldable, one's not. So there's a static. You can see how that little foldable option kind of bounces out there. But you get that same thing with the, 20, the, the smaller one, the 22 and a half foot. You can have a static pipe or you can have it so it folds. So really what you guys want to do, you can have any kind of options you want with these. So it's uh there's quite a bit going on so this one's pretty much maxed out we're at what 365 grand somewhere around that range it's pretty much maxed out that's not too too bad in the grand scheme of things like even maxed right out 365 grand the cloths we're looking at 500 grand so 
prices price wise i think they're pretty uh pretty competitive guys cool so that's pretty much it for the combines pretty excited about these i've been waiting i mean I've, I've been messing with these on pc for quite a while these look like they're done i don't know if they're done a little bit better or if they've been perfected but just the general feeling i'm getting from them the menu feels snappier um i like the look of them everything's good it's all good it's all good it's all good all right let's move along we've got the the headers now and we've got we've got them mounted right now on the combines i'll leave those that are alone but we'll just run right here no we've got all four of them sitting right here and even the headers guys by jj jhhg modding he's done some like there's i don't think there's another header in game that has this many options either um now they're for the most part fairly similar you've got two different headers technically kind of for as far as, far as length goes um, but each of them have quite a few options so 612s the 712s and then the 616 and the 716s yeah there you go so let's take a quick look at each of these in the store quickly we've got headers go 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 where are they horn headers right down at the end boom so the 616s and the or the six the 612 story the 712s the funny thing is okay let me see if this is right oh no they're the same so 9.1 meters and 12.3 meters respectively um the options for all of them are for the most part the same as well so we'll jump into let's go up into the big guy the 616c here now colors you get to change some colors on your headers for a john deere that's kind of strange it's pretty minor don't get your hopes up here main color you could change between <laughs> black or yellow so it really just she just changes the tip that's about it you're just getting a change on the tips boom that is all you're getting design color black or, or green and really i kind of was trying to figure out it's, it's just below i think it was i can't even remember i think it's just below where did i see it i saw it before on one of them i can't remember where it is the design color changes on one of the things and i can't remember what it was anymore oh i think it was the stock stompers there we go i think it's, this is what it is isn't it nope not those either there it is yeah it's on the back so um not a lot of changes as far as your design color so don't get your hopes up like i said um the chopping knives so you've got some choices here if you guys can see this yeah you can good chopping knives you can add a little bit of a change oh it's on the back never mind can i see that why can't i see where's the angle i can see those i can see them on one of them i can't even see it it's on the bottom you can see the chopping knives you can see it's adding like a little bit of a blade down there that's it so 8900 bucks for that uh you get some light changes you can add some back work lights changes your attacher type you can add a stand or support to it that looks kind of cool and then like i said our stock stompers you get a bunch of these you can add just two or you can add the whole array of 16 of them um yeah you can change how you want to do those like i said there's quite a few options for a header pack now each one of the headers that we talked about all have this there's different options so from the 612 all the way up to the 616, 716C, they all have the exact same options. But all these headers can be used on both combines, so that doesn't make a difference there. Anyways, so you got four, four of our uh, brand new combines, or brand new headers, I should say. Pretty cool. So you can see there's a stock stompers right back here. This one has the, uh, the stand on the back as well. They look pretty good. Now, the other interesting thing with these, actually, if I go back in, you're going to notice this. Right to the end again. So our general speed for these, six miles per hour for, for all our Kloss headers. Uh, pretty much all the corn headers, I think. Yeah, they're all six miles per hour. Every single one is six miles per hour. Uh, the new John Deere's, they're eight miles per hour. Yeah, bye. These go eight miles per hour while harvesting. That's considerably faster. I mean, if you think about it, it's like a 25%, 20% increase in speed alone. Um, otherwise, other little big uh, add-on to these. Let me just fire this up. They have the, the tips actually have to be put down in place too. Uh, this one there, there we go. Drop that down. They all have to be lowered into place and that is how they're put into operational position. That looks pretty cool. Nice. <laughs> Love it. Anyways, guys, eight miles per hour on some brand new John Deere harvesters. Yeah, I'm not complaining at all. This is fantastic. Great day for mods. Great day for hay. Um, all right, so we've talked about all this stuff. This is it for consoles. That's the, the end of the console area, for, unfortunately, for today. Let's move down and uh, we'll start talking about some of the mods for PC. There's not a lot for PC, like I said, but we do have three of them we need to quickly look at. Uh, right at the back here, the Note FRC, the slurry tank. Look familiar? You guys may have seen this before. You guys may have seen the slurry tank someplace else. I don't know. I don't know where. Maybe in store. <laughs> maybe in store 
Um, yeah, you're gonna find it in your slurry tanks, of course. Looks kind of familiar to the uh, the Garanta FR FRC. Uh, I don't know, 25 grand. Same with this one, 25 grand. Yeah, it's identical. You can't really tell there's a difference at all, but this one here is compatible with the new slurry system. That's all I can tell you about it. I haven't messed with this enough to know about it, to, to test it yet but it is, that is the big thing with this. It's compatible with the new slurry system. So if you are using all those new hoses and doodads and gizmos, then you are good to go with this. Yeah, do it, do it, do it, do it. Cool. So that's all I'm gonna talk about with this. There's nothing else different. If you've messed with this in uh, the base game stuff. Well, you're good to go. Next, 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 next. Harvest the cord beside me. Yeah, maybe we'll go in there and do, do that, Trent. Um, the trailer, the cane low loader trailer. This is a ball hitch or a pin pin uh, pin hitch style uh, loading trailer. You can see there we've got just a regular ball hitch on this. This is actually as far back as FS13. I could find this trailer has been in the game. So it's just a simple loading trailer. It's got foldable, uh, we'll fold those back up. Foldable ramps, Looks look good. Nice, uh, nice looking little trailer. But uh, yeah, PC only, wooden deck on the top. It does have full color options. So if you go down to our loading, loading uh, low loaders, you can change it to all the standard lizard colorings. You've got pretty much everything there. Same with your rim colors. You've got everything you could possibly want. We made it look like Christmas. I like it. Red and green, perfect. 22,999, uh, 20, 22,899, I guess, if we didn't paint it. There you go. Fairly straightforward. And then last of all, now this, let's see, yeah, this is our last mod. Uh, where's my tow bar? Oh, this is kind of interesting. This caught me off guard. Okay, tow bar with holder. So we've got a bunch of these. And once again, we don't need all of them. Just one would have been enough, but we got a ton. So this one's got a weight, I believe, on it. I think this is the weight as well. This is just a standard. Let's go to the store before we mess with this, and I'll show you what we got. You're going to find this in your weights section. And it's PC only. I should make sure you guys are aware of that. Um, so we've got type C, uh, type A, type B, and type you like wh why why do we have so many <laughs> i don't understand i haven't messed with all of them to quite figure it out why we needed so many but i think it's just the way the bracket sits i don't know if you can look at the bracket uh, let's go to this one here is the bracket different like they look they look so similar guys i'm really uh, struggling I, I think it's the bracket that's a little bit different on each one and that's the only difference anyways i don't know i don't know why we needed so many but anyways we got that many i don't know why this one's more expensive too uh, oh, it's got the weight. That's right. It's got the weight on it. Um, so all of them pretty much oh, no, actually they come with a couple different options. Let's go to this one here. Yeah, this one here. So this is the tow bar with weight. You can add a weight to it. The other ones don't have this weight option, but they all do have the flashlights option or flashlight or reflectors. So you can choose that uh, design color. You've got options there, of course. Standard lizard colors. That should have been showing up. Where did that show up? There it is. Oh, it's the weights. That's right. And then your main color, of course, you've got your main color options right there as well. Fairly standard stuff. But what's kind of interesting is the way this thing works. The way this thing works. Uh, what way should we turn this? We'll take we'll take the 800. Actually, let's take the little guy and see if we can tow the the big guy with it. Ah, get back and go on this one here. All right. So you need to start off by disconnecting, and I'm gonna need my other my screen up to do this. You need to disconnect the uh, the tow bar from the holder itself. Boom, so it just drops off there. And then you can turn around, go connect to that like you normally would, like any other implement. And then you should, uh, let's see if I can grab that. No, I don't want, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I want to connect to it. See if I can grab, just drive over top of it. Come on, come on, come on, back up. Oh man, I forgot about this ditch I built here. Uh, if I back on in, this works so much better than the chain. Perfect. Now we're hooked up. Just hooks up like a trailer, and now you are good to go. No problems. Um, yeah, this thing works so much better than the chain that I've been using lately. Come on. Oh, no. <laughs> we don't got the power. Can I? Come on. Let's see. Come on. Get up this hill. Go, 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 go. Get up there. Oh, I did it too. Can I turn? Nice. So it does work actually really quite well. A lot better than the chain, I find. Um, it just it's easier to hook up the chain is such a pain to hook up if you guys messed with that at all it's a bit of a pain uh so let me just drop this off now there is one interesting little issue with this that i've that i've ran into this should come in handy the fast driver and farm sim <laughs> um so when you want to connect to this when you want to put it back onto the tow holder onto that tow bar uh 
trying to connect to it can be a little interesting for one reason. See if I can get up over top of this. So you need to go straight up against it. Now let's see if I have it the right way. Now, if we don't have it the right way, it's not going to connect. Oh, I've got it the right way there, I think. Let's see. Go if I go this side here. Yeah, so right now I should be able to connect to it, but I can't. So if you are not facing the right direction, it has to be in the right orientation or it will not connect to it. Um, I don't think there is a way really to distinguish which is the right and wrong way. Like they look identical. So you really kind of have to either just remember how you had it or you just do it afterwards, I guess. But uh, or try one and if it doesn't work, then try the other one. Just be aware that it will only connect in the one orientation that it connects onto. Uh, but there's no way to tell, <laughs> which is kind of funny. I, I, it could be nice if there was like an arrow saying, hey, point this way, dummy. But anyways, that's it. <laughs> that's it for that. Um, that's it for the new mods, guys. That's all the brand new spanking new mods. Excellent day for mods. G good day for hey, man. We got some fantastic harvesters. Nice headers. This is, oh man, I can't wait to use these. These are going to be cool. Um, let's jump in and take a look at what's in testing, shall we? Let me bounce on over here. We'll get this up. We'll get, uh, let's see, yeah, where is the other one? Boom, 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 brown. There we go, perfect. So mods and testing. Um, the mod list is a little bit strange right now for everything that's currently in testing for farm sim. Now, of course, once again, I need to go through the whole spiel of, you're gonna see stuff for PC. I think there's 18 mods and testing for PC and 29 for testing for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Just of course be aware that the stuff that's in testing for PC can eventually move down into uh, console land at some point, depending on what the makers, the mod makers wishes are. It's just that the testing can be a little more stringent for uh, for those guys. So like I said, tw 18 for PC, I think 29 for console. We scroll on down, you can take a look at some of them right there. I got it on the ticker down below there. So it's a little less. I think we've been usually around the 50 mark and we're down to what is that 43, something like that now. So it's definitely dived down just a touch on the amount that are currently in testing, but more on that later. Um, starting off the top, Agra Z land trade. I, I don't know what to expect from that. Animal food pack as well, bale storage pack and the big bale storage pack. That's an update for all of those. We got a car trailer as well. Uh, the John Deere mower. Oh, where's our John Deere mower? I'm hoping, I am really hoping that this is the John Deere mower or something similar to this, like an auto propelled John Deere mower. I doubt it. I have a funny feeling it might just be an update to something we already have. I think it would say auto, it would be a self-propelled mower if it said that in the list, but I'm hoping this is coming to the mod hub. I would love to see something like this. Um, the Not Grante trailer. Lime and Salt Production. This is going to be uh, a global companies mod. Uh, we got some liquid silos MS as well as the Lizard 219-5. We got an old rusted bale cell, ridge marker extension, uh, rising back. That's another mod map right there. The rusted, <laughs> I like this one as well here. Oh man, the rusted desail de tank? <laughs> Sounds like me. <laughs> uh, the Skulky XX or the X50 Econo. That's a, a fertilizer spreader. Thuningra Forest? I'm not even going to pronounce that properly ever. There's no way. We got some weight decorations. And lastly, for our PC, we're at the wheat drying. Wheat drying, that's going to be a silo of some sort. We'll have to wait and see on that. Uh, down into consoles, we've got the Agro NG1100. We have the Bouchard EV2270, as well as the Cultivator Curve Land right there. Uh, we have a concrete and metal fence pack coming as well. The Dangraville B132B. That was just released today, actually. Oh, that's a blank screen. That was supposed to be the Dangerville SVL 1800, but uh, apparently I missed that one. Uh, we have, <laughs> that was supposed to be, this, those pigs weren't even supposed to be there either. That's hilarious. Uh, let's see, what else do we have in here? We got a dog coming into the room to say hello. We got the hay cutter and dolly, the John Deere F645 FD. Uh, where am I losing all of these? Oh, you know what? There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let me close that. All right, so we have the dudes as well. Oh man, this is the one I've been, I've been waiting for the dudes for quite some time. I was hoping the update would be out today, but nope, no luck for the dudes for our 7250. Still waiting on that bad boy as well. Uh, grain storage, and then there's there's our hay cutter and dolly. The 645 FD, 
not released today. I thought for sure we'd see this with the um, with the different headers that came out this morning as well. No luck there. The Joskin Wago trailer, Colonia 1990, the Crompe Bandit 750 trailer, the Lem Lemkin Crystal 9. That's a cultivator right there, of course. We have a bunch of lizard uh, mods coming out as well. The lizard dumper, the lizard N235, the lizard ORM 190, the oil fuel stations pack, pallet with barrels, and placeable storage silo. There's a whole bunch of them there that we have nothing that no one that want much information on. Um, next up, we have the self-made weight. We've been that's an update, obviously, for this one. We've had this for quite some time now. The SIP uh, Pioneer 20. That's the old loading or the pickup wagon we got there. We got the street signs pack coming as well as well an update for the sx heavy still waiting on to see what that one is and then lastly down at the bottom here we're down towards the tgs 26 500 the it runner pack um two of those were released today one was not I'm not sure what that was all about it seemed kind of strange to me also the top lifts staja and trent system something a little bit different here very similar to our uh, our it runner pack take a look at we'll see when this comes out and then lastly once again, the Venus JVK 16,000. Down near our bottom, you're gonna see we've got 146 mods waiting to be tested. That is way up all of a sudden. It was under 100 at the start of the week, and now we're down to, or up to 146. That's kind of exploded. But it seems like a lot of the mods in the last couple of days have been all the same in the mods and testing list. There hasn't been a lot released, and yesterday we only had the one mod, so that doesn't really surprise me. Uh, waiting time is back up to five work days. Boom, that's it, that is all. So that is going to do it for our farm sim uh the farm sim show today there will be no farm sim show for the remainder of the week uh i am busy with stuff going on the rest of the week unfortunately but that was going to do it <laughs> Braden got rick rolled out of that's awesome <laughs> hope to see more buildings soon i i feel you can i feel you i'm happy with today today was a fantastic day for mods so uh, i hope you guys enjoyed get out there and try that new john euro for sure for me i'll be trying a little later on probably today as well very excited very excited Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for me here today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Drop that like, of course. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you're not already a subscriber. Uh, have a great April Fool's Day. Go uh, make sure you wash your hands and... <laughs> wash your hands, you filthy animals. But uh, wash your hands and don't touch your face, right? Anyways, have a great day, folks. Uh, we will catch you guys on, uh, next week with the Farm Sim Show. We'll be doing some live streams again next week as well, possibly over the weekend, if I can find a way to swing it. But other than that, adios. See you, folks.